Welcome, my name is Ricky, and today we're playing Thymesia, which is a new Souls-like game that most of the reviews are actually saying is Sekiro-like and also Bloodborne-like, but that might just be the setting, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a game that just came out, and I thought we'd play it. Maybe this will be a new series, maybe it'll just be a one-off. However, the game is like six, six and a half hours long, according to how long to beat. So, even if it is a series, it's not gonna be a very long one. All right, let's get started. First thing I need to do, cause I did see someone complain about the camera. I'm just gonna turn off motion blur. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's a lot better. I just turned off motion blur, okay. So, there was this plague that befell this land. Um, yeah, crumpled up piece of paper, follow the commands and search for the cores. Okay, uh, and I guess, Saber attack, wounds and execution. Use RB to form a saber attack. Use B to dodge enemy attacks. Saber attacks deal damage. Wounds on the wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period of more damage inflicted. Enemy health and wounds are both zero. They will become days. Birthdays and make... Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So. The lock on. Okay. That didn't seem that difficult. Camera's a bit stuttery in certain places, which isn't great. But you know what? This isn't like a high budget game. Is 25 bucks. Okay, let's roll away. I don't appear to have any kind of stamina, which is nice. Okay, so you dash forward. That's very... Yeah, okay. Deflect. Use LB just before the enemy's stacked. Def... Okay. Okay. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Use... Okay, that's very blood morning. Yeah, okay, so the parrying thing didn't seem to do anything. The deflecting enemy attacks thing. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong? Lock on. Yeah, I already figured the lock on thing out. Thanks, game. I got the key to the plaza. Apparently there's no jump like in Elden Ring. Okay. Okay, that was not the right button I wanted to hit. Anyway, I tried to attack like I was dual wielding an Elden Ring. Open the gate. You are the devourer. Wield your claws. Tear apart. Cursed bodies. Okay. Okay, now I get my heavy attack. That is still not the button I wanted to hit. Ah, okay. Ow. Okay. Obtaining a plague weapon. Each enemy has a unique plague weapon and Corvus can reeve this for his own. Okay. Well, that was an intense kill there. On a soldier's diary. The, oh, the game does not pause when I do that. Okay. Stop doing it that way. Casting a replay was why to cast a reeved plague weapon. Okay, I got an achievement. Right, okay. Beacon. Resting at a beacon will save current progress. If potions restore, we'll all resurrect most enemies. Yeah, because sure, because they're souls like. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I found the beacon. Now I can rest at the beacon. Got another achievement. And that's obviously, you know, the bonfire. It's a chair in this game. But whatever. And another thing feathers. As lethal as iron arrows pierce their weaknesses. Critical attacks and feather attacks. When a green light appears before an enemy, they will perform a critical attack that cannot be deflected. Instead, Corvus must move out of range or use a feather attack. Use LT to throw a feather and interrupt the enemy attack just before the... Okay, so that's like um, Bloodborne's um, gun parry. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm doing a very bad job of this. Hang on, let's heal. Alright. Wow, okay. I died. Memory interrupted. This feels like this is going to take me a little while. A little bit of stutter there. Yeah, but he hadn't done a critical yet. And I'm still pressing the wrong button. Ah. Uh. Feel like Bloodborne. Ah! Wow, that does not heal a lot of health. Ah! He can parry me! Okay, I, I guess that's fair. Okay. Whoa! Okay, that was intense. Please tell me there's another checkpoint after this. Felt like a mini boss fight. Okay, I don't know what I just did, but I did not press the A button, I pressed the X button. That feels like where the direction I'm supposed to go, so let's go this way. Because that felt like a big, heavy fight that I'm not going to survive. Man. That does do him damage. Okay. Are there backstabs in this game? There's a million percent chance that that person was not an enemy. And I was just like, eh, I'm good. I'm going to kill him. But I have no healing. Let's see what we can do here. Not bad. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it, but I feel like, I feel like, um, I'm not actually getting the hang of it. Like, I feel like there's probably, there's something like, like, you're, you're starting to get the hang of it, so now we're going to throw something so difficult at you that you're going to be like, oh wait, no, I'm not getting the hang of it. Oh, CG cutscene. Or maybe not. Okay. Big giant knight. All right. Please don't make me watch that every time. Okay. Oh. Okay. Please, please don't make me watch that cutscene every single time I die. Or maybe I was supposed to die. I don't know. Let's see. Oh! I was supposed to die. Okay, good. Corvus, you're finally awake. I was worried about you. You were badly hurt. Luckily, you made it back in time. Corvus, do you remember what you did? No. You need to get the right formula to use Hermes' answer. Okay. It appears the injury caused you to lose your memory, so perhaps it would be helpful to start with the description of what you still remember. Come back when you've got your memories in order. Until then, you can walk around. It might help jog your memory. All right, map menu, Corvus controls Okay, right. Um, Philosopher's Hill. Oh, right here. Okay. 
Sea of Trees. In the early days of the plague, the nobles banished all criminals, the poor, and the sickly to a low level of the kingdom known as the Sea of Trees, the Upper Ring Society, living over the slum, care nothing of their lives. Refer to them as a hopeless, sure, letting them succumb to sickness and all manner of ghastly creatures. Okay. No. I'm going to wander around first. Okay, let's talk to her again. Corvus, are you ready to recall? Continue to recall. Oh, okay, so I have to do this. Level up menu. Corvus can use memory shards to enhance the strength to saber attacks, vi uh, vitality. Sure, of course. Right. Yeah. Corvus gets one talent point each time he increases an attribute up to level 25. So I can level up. Yeah, strength and vitality. That's what we're going with. Strength and vitality. Now I can unlock talent. Oh, these are skills. Perform faster saber attacks. Um, so I have level one already. Perform faster saber hits up to a three hit combo while in the air. Wait, how do I jump? Ooh, after performing an execution, some health and energy will be stored based on the level of the enemy. Yes. And then perform up to a five. You know what? Yeah, okay. Five hit combo. That's good. Okay. Okay, so I can just... So there's no real, like, issue here. So, we're putting our unspent talent points into Saber Attacks Level 2 and Healing Execution Level 1. I just definitely feel like getting health from a kill is a good idea. Uh, but after looking through the entire talents menu, I feel like this is going to be a very, very interesting, like, I don't know, mechanic. Like, it's certainly not something that happens in the Souls games. Okay. I gained 25 health back for killing him, um, but I lost 60. And another 25 health back. I'm fighting the camera a lot in this game. It really doesn't want me to look at things. Um, you know. And hey, look at that, I am... Whoa! Well, I was 100% healed. Come on. I missed. Well, that sucked. Fine. I'm just going to kill you real fast. Now I'm going to kill you. I'm going to get 25 health back. Wrong button. Tattered Twilight Circus recruitment ad. Twilight Circus is open. Okay, whatever. Twilight Circus? Sure. Okay, there's a ladder. Oh, there's another guy. Yeah, I currently have three feathers, I think. And they regenerate over time. Yeah. Takes ten seconds, according to the uh, skill menu. Uh, not the skill menu. I guess technically they're skills. The, um, what, are, what are they called? Whatever. The menu where I was spending skill points. Oh, you're different. Yeah, I'm just going to learn to dodge that. Oh, I did not interrupt his critical. Hmm, that didn't seem to do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is not going so uh, What? How did he kill me? Uh-uh. 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 I dodged that. That was not good, because I was pretty sure I dodged that. Okay. See, I thought I dodged that, but there's a every possibility that maybe I actually didn't dodge it. Ow. Hang on, let me kill. There we go. Get the health back. You know what I'd love? See, I guess what I need to do is I need to use that thing when their health is down, but not their stamina or whatever.
Also, I should have healed. That's the other thing I should have done. I should have healed. Oh, good. There's my souls. Or whatever they're called in this game. Memories, that's right. What was the other guy? Really? Other guy? Oh, that was way too early. Okay, you know what? These guys also have that stupid bullcrap Elden Ring gonna attack, but we're gonna delay it like 50 or 60. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. What the heck did I drop on the ground? Oh, I got his skill or something. Well, wow, that went way better. Another Twilight Circus poster. Okay. Apparently, the circus is in town. Okay, yeah, I already saw that. I saw it somewhere else, but I already saw that. Okay. There we go. I really got to get better at this. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, I, I appreciate it when games like craft, like intricate lore and stuff, but at the same time, I am not uh, necessarily going to care that much about it. Are you a thing I need to? Yes. Okay. Never mind. No, nope. switch back to this one. There we go. Yeah, that is super useful. Plague weapon menu. Corvus can use skill shards to obtain fallen enemies. Go unlock or upgrade plague weapons. Yeah, okay. If I come across another one, because I'm definitely not... I don't know why I keep pressing B instead of A. That seems not great. Yeah, no, that's not dope. From the looks of it, at least stuff's breakable. I have to go this way. It would have been fantastic if I would pressed the correct button. I probably would have gotten out of that without taking a lot of health. I would love a healing spot. That would be great. Nope. Okay. Well, then I'm going to heal before I start this fight. Okay. I'm glad I healed before I started the fight where I didn't take any damage. I do need to learn how to parry. But, or at least understand the parry system better, because I'm still not 100% certain on it. No, you got to come over here. I'm not fighting you in that orange mist stuff. Okay. Now, there's a ladder, so we need to press the A button to climb the ladder. I can't dash up the ladder, though. There's not really a sprint in this game, is there? There's just dashes. Nope. This feels like a little bit more of a... Whoa, 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 no. No. Okay, I guess I didn't interrupt it in time.
Again, I didn't interrupt it in time. And I'm dead. Alright, that was the first little bit of Thymesia. I am enjoying it so far. I don't feel like I wasted my 25 bucks. I do say so far because these games have lulled me into a false sense of um, enjoying the beginning and then like hitting like this massive wall and getting frustrated. That's the part I don't like about the Souls games. So if that happens in this game, that might be the end of it. Either way, this has been Thymesia. Thank you for watching and come back soon for more Thymesia.